Yep, we're gonna whip it in this video. Hi there, my name is Adam Winrich, and this is a video that's gonna be about whipping invasive species of weeds. It's, a, it's kind of a little random topic compared to the other stuff I usually talk about, but I downloaded this uh, app called Picture This, and I've been just walking around the wilderness identifying every plant that I can find, and I thought, wouldn't it be fun to make a video where I also help like, whip and destroy some invasive species of weeds. Now, I'm going to alternate between good species and bad species. I got about uh, six of each or so in the category. First, uh, we'll talk about a good one. Here is one called Colt's Foot. Colt's Foot, also known as Cough Wart. Cough wart. I would say in the good species section, the names are really fun. I enjoy them a lot. And cough wart, as the name suggests, uh, it is a, can be a medicinal herb, and I say can be good for treating inflammation. Cough wart, also known as colt's foot. So put that one back in the good category. In the bad category, something probably a lot of you have seen. This is Virginia creeper, which is like everywhere in the wilderness. So we're gonna whip this one for sure. It's just like the song says, when an invasive species comes along, you must whip it. Whip it. Back to the good category. Here's another fun name. This one is called hawkweed ox tongue. Let me say that one more time because it's so fun. A hawkweed ox tongue. And what this one is good for is a uh, topical treatment for headaches. That's what I understand. Uh, the Native Americans would use that as a topical treatment for headaches. And it also has a really fun name. Back to the bad plants. Ooh, here's one that is ubiquitous. That means all over the place. Uh, it's called Queen Anne's Lace, and uh, it is an invasive species. What's interesting about this one is uh, back in the old-timey festivals, they used to take the top of it, deep fry it, and sell it as a snack. But for my video right now, we're going to whip it. See, back to the good species. Here's a good name. This one is called nipple wart. That's right, get out your giggles. Nipple wart. And uh, nipple wart, when you get it fresh, uh, the leaves can be eaten like lettuce. And it also has a really fun name. So going back to invasive species, oh, here we have one. This one is called bitter dock. And uh, this one, I think it does some stuff, it sort of ruins the pH of the soil. And so we definitely want to get rid of this one. But I'm not going to whip it because that would spread the seeds everywhere and make the problem worse. So I put this one back down where it was. And back to the good plants. Here is one called Bouncing Bet, also known as Soapwort. And as the name Soapwort implies, the sap of this plant can be used as soap. So if you get a lot of grass stains in your whip from whipping invasive species of weeds, then you definitely want to find yourself some Bouncing Bet and clean off your cracker. Put that one back there. Back to invasive species, we, we, we went from bitter dock to burr dock. Uh, sometimes I get burr dock confused with uh, either sometimes rhubarb or I get it confused with thistle because uh, sometimes the flower part looks a little bit like a thistle. But it is indeed a invasive species and I'm going to whip it. Yeah, that's a lot of noise. Moving on, oh, a couple cute flowers that uh, I also picked. Both of these are yellow ones. Here is a meadow buttercup. And one of my other favorite names, bird's foot trefoil. can be found uh, all over the United States, bird's foot trefoil. And back to the bad species, a uh, yellow flower that's not really popular for people with allergies. That would be goldenrod. It hasn't turned golden yet. And uh, so if I whip it now, that means it won't contribute to my allergies later this fall. Another good plant would be chicory. Now chicory is kind of a weed in most places, but what's interesting about chicory is that uh, the roots of chicory can be dried, ground up, and added to coffee. For anyone that's been to New Orleans, you may have seen coffee where they've added chicory to the coffee to help stretch the expensive coffee like a little bit further. So that's chicory. And another invasive species we have here, this one is called wild parsnip. Now, the wild parsnip, that sounds like it should be good, but actually it's not. It's a very invasive species, and you think parsnip, can we eat it? I don't think we can, but we can whip it. And last but not least, one more good species of plant to have around. This is the common milkweed, and what makes this species really great is that this is the only food 
that monarch butterfly caterpillars eat. So uh, if you look around, you see this in the uh, ditches or out in your fields, um, you know, it's a good plant to preserve because if you like monarch butterflies, and I don't know who doesn't, this is what their caterpillars eat. That's a great plant. So there you have it. Some uh, whipping some invasive species with Adam Crack. My name is Adam Winrich. Thanks for watching.